Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Preet Sir. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of my glam. That is, I'm going to be doing this makeup look using only and only my glam products. Now, while I do my makeup, I'm also going to give you mini reviews of each and every product I'll be using from primer till highlighter. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, my skin is well prepped. So I'm just going to start with the primer. So for primer, I have my glam Stinted Perfection Base Primer and Pore Minimizer. Now the packaging is very sleek but if you have seen my products I regret buying video you probably know what's coming now this is not a bad primer except the fact that it peels it does a very good job at brightening and uh, pore filling because you can literally see that it's filling out your pores so it's not a bad primer but it's not very compatible with a lot of foundations I use. Main problem which this primer has is when you rub it rigorously, it starts peeling. I'm not sure if you can see, but it peels. And that is a turn off for me, guys. I'm not sure if uh, this particular batch was effective or the whole product is effective. But if you guys are looking for a good primer, there's a lot of other primers in the market which are much more affordable. Now, for the base, I have a really good product that is My Glam's Total Makeover FF Cream. So, it is literally 5 in 1 primer, concealer, foundation, compact with SPF 30, and skin tone character palette now, that's a lot of claims this is how the product looks like and the packaging is very sleek you can actually use the packaging as a mirror golden mirror and this is uh, how the product looks so basically it has three products and it claims that this one is basically a foundation a primer and this one is a concealer and this one is a color corrector so i'm going to use this product as my base while i talk about it now the consistency of all the three shades is that it's very light and it's too orange okay it just uses the warmth of your finger and it melts right off so the consistency is really nice it's a little whippy like whip cream consistency but it's nice i'm gonna use it a little bit here as well now I'm just going to let it sit on my face and let my face absorb it a little bit before I use my foundation, use the foundation shade and blend everything. Now I'm just going to take my concealer brush and take the foundation and just use it where I feel it's needed. Can you see that? The coverage is really very good. not bad another thing which adds to its coverage is that the shade match is really good now i'm taking the highlighting concealer shade and i'm just applying it a little bit under my eyes to highlight the area so this is how my face looks after the palette. As you can see, it looks very natural. It's not very high coverage because you can still see some of my blemishes. But at the same time, when you zoom out, you can see that it my face just looks one tone. I feel like it's a very good palette if you're wanting to go for no makeup makeup look because it does a very good job of hiding certain blemishes, hiding certain hyperpigmentation without making it look very obvious it looks very natural so this is a good one you guys so now for contour i have this my glam pose hd foundation stick in the shade expresso so basically this is the darkest shade they have and honestly for a skin tone like mine i can even use a second darkest shade so this is the darkest shade and this is cool tone brown i'm going to use just a little bit because it's still going to be a little too dark I place it on areas where I want to define. Talking about this foundation stick, this is actually a very good foundation stick. I also have this in another shade. For my sister, she uses this stick as a concealer slash foundation. And this is a really good one because A, it is uh, not very liquidy as it's in stick format. Secondly, as you can see, it 
blends like a dream you can literally use your fingers and just blend it out my main motto was just to talk about this product this is actually as good as the palette so if you are going for post stick and not just for contour you can also use it as a concealer you can also use it as a foundation this is a three in one kind of a thing just like the palette so go either or if you're buying the palette don't go for this if you're going for this don't buy the palette it's just either or but if i have to compare the palette is always going to be better now before i go further i'm just going to remove this lip gloss now that i removed my lip gloss my main motto was to apply this lip voluminizer now i had already reviewed this so i want my lips to look a little more plump so i'm just going to uh, use it a little bit so that at the end i can remove it and apply my actual lipstick honestly this is a very fun product i mean it looks nice I haven't used this in a long while so it may take a little time okay I'm sure it's going to burn but I'm ready to endure it now I have a lot of things to say about this product but I will talk about this when we apply our lipstick so for now let's just let this product do the magic it has started burning oh god now let's start with the eye makeup for eye makeup i am going to be using manish malhotra's palette now i do have a review of manish malhotra's this palette i will just link it here or here whatever and you guys can go and check that out but for now if i have to talk about this palette again again i feel like it's too small and it's too pricey as you can see all the shades here are very very basic but at the same time uh, the, they are very very pigmented and they go on very very smoothly so I'm just going to take this brown shade and just going to apply it on the outer corner of my eyes and you see how pigmented this is this is exactly what I was talking about I just touch it and bam it's just very very smooth and very very pigmented okay so I'm just going to slowly blend it out here only in the outer corners now I'm going to take this middle shade. Now this middle shade is a iridescent uh, bluish color. And if you can see, it's literally a highlighting shade, but it's also, it reflects blue and it's very pretty. So I'm just going to apply it here. It's so pretty. I love shades like this. I can die for shades like this. And this is how my eye makeup looks so far. I just, just used two shades from this palette and I made this eye look. This is how it looks so far. And honestly, I kind of think it's worth it. I really love this palette. Now I'm going to go in with the same Manish Malhotra's mascara. Now, this mascara is actually not waterproof. And it doesn't last that long. It's really good um, if you're going to an event which is going to be for just half an hour or one hour kind of a thing. So you don't need to apply a waterproof mascara and then lose four eyelashes while removing it. It's good for that. But for this price, I actually expected a better quality. So it's actually not up to the mark. Now for the eyeliner, I have this My Glam Wheelie Precision Eyeliner and Stylist. Now again, if you have seen my products I regret buying video, then you know what's about to happen. Uh, this is a very unique product. I remember seeing it in Beauty Insider YouTube video. Some foreign brand came up with this concept and I was so intrigued. I really wanted to try it. And I actually got it from my glam as well. But um, it looks very nice. It looks very fancy. But I somehow suck at applying this. This product is good, but my skills don't match with this product. Seriously. I can actually ruin my eye makeup right now trying this, but let's try. Can you see? I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good as well. For some reason, this is not very efficient or practical for me because it's very thin and I can't fill in my eyeliners if I want to. Now, the last uh, eye product I really want to talk about from my glam was this Manish Malhotra Eye Pencil. It's in the shade Galaxy Blue. First of all, it comes, I think I got it for $8.50 and the amount you get is 1 gram. Yes one gram i'm pretty sure you can't um, sharpen it because the amount of product it's there in the tip i think that is itself one gram so that's all you get 
Now I can very easily hate on this product but unfortunately I can't. You want to know why? Because let me just swatch it for you guys. If you guys can see how pretty this is. This is literally black in color but it has beautiful blue glitter. But the best part is it's a pencil product and look. It's much proof. Honestly, I really love this product. Um, I will not repurchase this obviously because it's just one gram ke liye ek to I won't pay that much and secondly uh, it breaks my heart to even use it. Mujhe hamisha lagta ki khatam ho jayega, khatam ho jayega. So it's not worth it. Now let's talk about blushes and highlighters. For blush, I have this My Landscape Play blush and I honestly love it. I mean the packaging apart from it being really, really cute. In a packaging, it's very pretty and let me show you how pigmented this is. About a highlighter, I am using My Glam Spotlight Illuminating Liquid Highlighter. Now, I really like liquid highlighters because it looks a tad bit more natural because it blends in with your skin. Just a tiny little dot. Just going to use my fingers and blend it in. Are you seeing this? Um, I also like this product a lot because it's very easy to blend. And you can even mix it with your foundation to create a strobing cream. How pretty does this look? Now before we move on to the lips, the last eye makeup I really want to talk about and spoiler alert, this is my favorite product out of the whole My Glam brand. It's this Magic Potion Roll On Illuminator. This is magic in a bottle. It literally, its name is Magic Potion. It looks very, very pretty and it's iridescent in color. It's duochromatic and I just love it. You can use it everywhere, but the problem is it's a little chunky. So even if you use it on your cheeks, uh, it won't be that good if you're wearing it in real life because people can see your chunk. Uh, so it's good for parties. It's definitely very, very good for camera and it's very good for eye makeup. Love it. It stained my lips. It's very pink now. But the question is, did it make my lips bigger? In my opinion, the it did. But the difference is so small that it's almost negligible. So I think this product is kind of a waste. Uh, it's very fun. I love the packaging and I love how it's all tingly wingly on your lips, but it doesn't work, you guys. Even if it works, it's just not worth it. And I'm not talking about just this one product from this one brand. I'm talking about all the lip volumizer that exists that tingles on your lips, gives you so much of pain for just a little bit of plumping effect. It's not worth it, you guys. Now, talking about lipsticks, I have a lot of different lipsticks from all variants of my glam. I have lit matte liquid lipsticks. I have lit normal lipsticks. I have lipsticks from K Play, Rayons, and also this Ultai Matte. The reason why I decide to use this one because this kind of goes with my eye color. Love the packaging. It's very sleek. And all this is matte. This is not very very drying on your lips. And I have a thing for lipstick like these. You know this very thin, long lipsticks. It's very attractive for some reason. This looks totally orange on my lips. In real life, it's a bit more uh, neutral but, and terracottish, but in camera it looks orange and it's definitely not going well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of um, brown eyeshadow and just going to line my lips to neutralize. Now this looks much better. So this was it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.